Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Tell me if this situation sounds familiar. You go to print out a web page, and you think you're just printing out this part of the web page, and then you go to your printer, and then you've printed off 50 pages, and you're like, what the? Oh, I forgot to select the text. And uh. So the next time, maybe you copy that text and paste it into an empty Word document and print that, but that takes time and effort and energy, and then the layout is completely blown out of proportion. And what do you do when you want to print parts of a web page, but not everything that may be on the web page? You almost need an editor for your printout. You know what I'm saying? Well, if you don't, then maybe this website will help you. It's printwhatyoulike.com, submitted by Daniel Lubner, and he sent me the link just uh, this weekend, and I clicked over, and indeed, uh, you can print what you like. Go to that website, enter in a URL, and I've got my blog at chris.perillo.com loaded here just to kind of illustrate what you can do. Let me turn the monitor this way. And see, there's this background here. I don't need to print out the background. It's not that exciting when on, on printed paper. So I'm going to press remove background. Gone. Oh, but I'm not done yet. So uh, I don't likely need to uh, see the ads or the YouTube video, at least in the printout. And hopefully you can see the ads running on my blog. So I select that block. Remove selected. Gone. I also don't need to see my live video feed. Remove selected. Gone. There's another ad, don't need to see it. Gone. Uh, let's see, I, I, I think I want to keep my Chris heads though. Those are kind of fun. But I can scroll down and, and do other things. If I want, I can change the font type to Georgia. I can increase the font size, so there we go. So maybe I, maybe I have, uh, can you see that? You can probably barely see that, it's probably so bright for you. Uh, anyway, I've made the font much bigger. I can widen a selected area if I wanted to. I could isolate the selected area. So if I just want to print off that, I press isolate, and it just isolated uh, that bit of text, and then, then I'm that, that's it. That, that's that's it. Then of course I can go and I can reset it if I want to. It doesn't actually edit the web page, but it allows you to edit what's on that page before it goes to your printer. You can just print that off from there. I know of no other way of doing something like this that is just as simple and well just as free print your or print what you like dot com is where you can go if you uh, have ever run into this issue before and you're kind of tired of the workarounds good resource and I believe it just launched uh, so hopefully they'll be able to handle the the traffic that I'm sure is going to go flooding into it because I know a lot of people who still print out web pages on a regular basis uh, sometimes I do uh, but only if I need to. I'm I, I'm big in the whole paperless office thing. But, but let's say you wanted to print something out, uh, and instead of printing it out to, uh, you know, an actual piece of paper, I'm I'm thumbing back to my printer. You can't see it, but then I realize I've got a piece of paper here that I printed out. Ah, oh, it was an email, so there wasn't much in it. You can print to a PDF if you have that kind of software. If your operating system uh, supports that uh, particular feature. Uh, so anyway, there's a, a variety of things that you can do uh, with a web page uh, before you process it further. This is kind of like an intermediary. If anybody else has any recommendations to make related to printing, uh, saving toner or ink or you know optimizing the experience of printing, feel free to pass any tips along. Any other types of uh, software or web recommendations, certainly. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And you're also welcome to join us in our community of technologists at geeks.perillo.com. Blogs, forums, photos, videos, groups, events, uh, audio files, video. It, there's a lot of stuff going on there. And if you're a geek, then you're more than welcome to join us, no matter what kind of geek you are. Maybe you're a printer geek. You can join us. Maybe you're a paper geek. You can join us. Maybe you're an audio geek. Join us. Maybe you are a bamboo geek. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I know you're out there but you still haven't joined. It's free to do, geeks.perillo.com. And then maybe you want to join us in uh, the live chat room, uh, as opposed to the dead one, which really doesn't see much action these days. Anyway, I've got the chat room sewn here within the video experience. And the video experience is streaming out live over the internet, much like the chat room that's a part of the video uh, that you can you know, join and participate in uh, quite regularly. In fact, all the time. It's the internet. We never close. We're open. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.